Hello guys, welcome back to Tax Riders. In this video, we want to continue our discussion on Palabos Lattice Boltzmann code, and we want to see how we can simulate flow in Proris Media using Palabos. Let's go for it. So one of the advantages that uh, Lattice Boltzmann method has over like traditional approaches such as uh, finite volume or finite element method is its capability, building capability or very nice features it has and a bunch of schemes available in it to simulate multi-phase flow. And uh, this is an example of multi-phase flow in Paris Media in which we have like uh, a phase one, let's say, depicted here in red entering the porous medium and then causing phase two, which can be air in this case, so phase one being water and phase two being air, causes it to, you know, leave the medium. So let's look at this uh, in this way. And Lattice Boltzmann has great features and bunch of, as I said, bunch of schemes available to simulate this kind of phenomena. This is another example uh, performed using Lattice Boltzmann. You can see that one phase enters and it causes, uh, you know, it goes through the pores of the porous media, which is depicted in gray here, and causes the other uh, phase to go out. And the other phase is not depicted, and uh, it, which is quite normal in this kind of simulations that you have just one one phase being visualized. So we want to see how we can use Palabos to simulate this kind of stuff. In the previous video, we had a look at Palabos and we saw how we can uh, set it up and how we can build the examples, compile the examples and run them. Palabos comes with uh, one example related to, la uh, to uh, fluid flow in a porous medium, which is here in tutorials and a permeability. And uh, this file is actually uh, the one uh, that is quite, uh, and by going through that, you can see how easy it is to set up this problem, how to read uh, like the, the geometry of the porous medium from an STL file and all these things, you know, I, but I don't want to go through this example. Instead, I want to show you something else that is quite interesting to see that there are codes on top of Palabos that can help you to simulate this kind of uh, phenomena, po flow in porous media. So, uh, in order to get access to that code that I'm mentioning, which is just Palabos with some Python wrappers, or, or let's say Python helpers, I need to go to the Palabos uh, website, you know, this is the easiest way to access it. So, I go to Palabos code, website, and then I go to the gallery, and here in the gallery, you can see there are different uh, kind of categories and I go to porous media. And here are different applications are available. This one is uh, simulated using a similar scheme, Shan Chen, that I showed you for uh, uh, flow in porous media. And we want to see how we can simulate something like this ourselves. So if I click on this icon, it redirects me to a GitHub rep repository of a software developed in the University of Texas. You know, later on we come back, as I said, as I promised, we come back to all these things uh, to go into more details. But for now, I just want to show you one example of a software that is built on top of Palabas that can be used for these kind of applications. And as you can see, it is uh, mentioned that it's per for performing simulations in complicated geometries coming from 3D images. So this is a software uh, called MPLBM UT, University of Texas, for multi-phase and single-phase lattice Boltzmann simulations in uh, porous media. And these are a couple of examples, simulation examples that the software developers have put here. Uh, but uh, just maybe I can also quickly show you the code structure. Here is the source, co uh, source code of the program. You can see that Palabos is here. So the specific version of Palabos, they put it here. This is not standard, but this is for easier deployment and installation. And then on one phase and two phase uh, Lattice Boltzmann. So if I go to the, for example, this two phase Lattice Boltzmann, uh, you can see that this is Shanchen approach, which is the code is very similar to the one that was in the, uh, uh, like uh, Palabos uh, example directory, but the software developers have have made it have made some customization on it, and 
with the Python wrapper on top, then it has become a full like functional software that can be used for this special purpose like flow in parse media. So uh, yeah, this is a source code. But when we want to run this code, we actually do not need to deal with this because there is also a Python uh, interface on top and we use this Python library. When we install it, we use this Python library and then it controls the simulation behind the scene for the, for the Palabus. So um, I go back to the root of the repository and then I scroll down to see the installation procedure. It says that uh, Unix system is needed because uh, Palabus, Palabus is not supported on Windows and a Python 3.6, 3.6 plus. And it depends on this uh, quite extensive uh, libraries and packages also ports by, you know, these are uh, things that uh, we will cover later for, uh, you know, identification and characterization of uh, porous media geometry and 3D images. And we also need some compilers in, and, uh, and MPI. These are the things we discussed in a previous video. And I just want to check how the installation procedure is. It says that I just need to run the install script. And we also check the install script together to see what is inside. As you can see, it, uh, it uncompresses the Palabos file that is located in the SRC directory. And then it goes to the one, two phase and single phase uh, directories and uh, make them. So this is uh, very similar to the procedure that we took in the previous video. And then it installs the Python prerequisites. And as we have some Python prerequisites here, I uh, prefer to have like a conda environment so let's uh, make a conda environment first and then we can start to clone uh, the github repo so I go to the desktop I, I create a directory on the desktop that doesn't matter so here I uh, I can create a directory or I can just clone uh, uh, the repo it's okay so, oops, sorry. So it has some also, uh, you know, uh, the example geometries and that's why it takes some time. And here we have the repo and this is the install directory, uh, sorry, install script. But before going for it, I said, I prefer to create a Conda, uh, environment just in case I name it uh, like LBM it doesn't matter and as was there Python 3.7 I press enter and it may take some time but after the environment is ready I will de I will activate it and then I install the prerequisite that was mentioned there so those are the things that I can install yes the Python version is 3.7 here as you can see so it takes some time for download and uh, install software. Nice, and it says uh, Conda activate LBM should do all the things that I need. So I go inside the directory that I cloned. So these are the files and I need to run this one. It doesn't have, you know, um, the execute attribute here. As you can see, I cannot run it, so I add the execute attribute to that so install and now I should be able to install it so the installation process uncompresses the uh, the files and compiles the program so this is the part of the Palabus program being compiled and then uh, those two examples will be compiled as well so I wait a little bit and then we we continue after the build process is over So as you saw, it uh, it had to install a lot of libraries, Python packages, and a bunch of uh, uh, source code, C++ source code to compile. And uh, now uh, it's over and we're ready to uh, use the software. Um, 
So uh, let me just quickly show you and uh, explore a little bit on the type of uh, simulations that you know the software is capable of handling. Uh, as I said, it is single phase and multi phase uh, flow. But for each category, uh, there are uh, some examples and examples directory here. And uh, here, uh, you know, it's very nicely described the way that uh, the input file should have been. So, for for example, for each category, this one is, for example, I go to a single phase permeability, and you see that there is an input file, input YAML in which it describes like uh, the parameters that are needed to run a simulation and then the python wrapper would read this uh, you know this input file and calls the simulation the polybus simulation behind the scene so this is actually uh, the the parameters that uh, this readme uh, like uh, readme file uh, describes in details also for multi-phase simulations Floyd 1 Floyd 2 the permeability the contact angles and other uh, the density of the Floyd and all these things that are uh, quite relevant for multi-phase flow. So in order just uh, to show you one example of this, uh, I go to the steady state uh, real permeability, relative permeability example, which as you can see uh, starts by initializing the non-wetting fluid inside the domain and then uh, depending on various levels of saturation that are computed on using a pore pi simulation, uh, it tries to uh, you know, simulate the drainage um, behavior of these two phases. So so uh, the thing that is happening is inside this one, two-phase simulations, and the input file is also very important. But the two-phase simulations calls the, uh, the you know calls a PoreSpy interface available in this software, and then after computing the level of saturation using PoreSpy, then it runs the uh, relative permeability simulation here inside Palabos. And as you can see, all the things uh, are happening behind the scene and uh, automatically for us including like running the the MPI processes and everything and it is being controlled by the the input file so I just need to go to that directory which is uh, located into examples so I go to examples and then here the steady state uh, relative permeability so now I'm here and then I need to uh, you know adjust the in the parameters inside the input file so I come in here the examples and then uh, this says relative permeability and the input YAML so it should be the simulation directory I should pass it like uh, the full pass like this and then uh, this is the name of the porous media geometry that this software also comes uh, you know this is uh, I think I forgot to mention that this software comes with uh, some uh, domain construction features some codes that you can create geometry from some input files or 3d images and this file is already ready for us here and then this is the domain size as you can see these are the, all the parameters that are being read by the python file and python wrappers and python helpers and then uh, things will be done uh, automatically and the other parameter that i need to change is a number of processes so i put six for example here to use and this is the mpi size and uh, so as a result we will have um, you know simulation being performed with six cpu cores and the rest are, you know, uh, properties for Floyd 1, Floyd 2, and the boundary conditions. So what I need to do, if everything is okay now, I should be able to run uh, this file. So two-phase simulation, and then uh, dot .py. So let's see uh, if there is any error or not. It seems not. Now it is downloading actually uh, the raw file, so it is uh, it's downloading the the, the the files from the digital rock portal. And after that, scaling the geometry. Let's see if the simulation starts to run. So after the simulation is over, uh, it writes. Uh, eight directories tmp1 to tmp8 each corresponding to one uh, level of saturation i kept only one of them but there are actually eight as i said so these are the relative permeability uh, results and then they are plotted into something like this 
So the relative uh, permeability plots for wetting and non-wetting fluid. And then uh, inside the TMP directory, uh, also the run log I can show you. So this is uh, the way that it is uh, running here. And then uh, as you can see, uh, different iterations for different simulations and these are really typical uh, output of Palabos as uh, you may remember from the previous video. So um, yeah, after this is done, uh, uh, we can visualize the results. It will be very similar to this. So this is actually the, the output of this simulation, but I can also quickly show you how to do that. So I go, I run Paraview and then I'll open a file into the TMP directory. One file that I need to open is this Porous Medium VTI, which shows uh, which shows us the like the geometry, and the other one is this one for for the fluid uh, fluid uh, density. So I open it. I hide this one, and the por porous medium is something like uh, this, I guess. Yes. So uh, as you can see, tag one is for uh, the obstacles or, po or like the solid parts or sands in, or rocks. You know, it, 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 it depends really on the type of application that you are running. And in this case, the red ones are actually the pores that are empty, devoid of space that is being filled first by gas and then it can be, you know, uh, evacuated by uh, water. So uh, I can visualize it maybe using a clip. Let's try the clip here. So I say scatter and the tag and then press apply. And yeah, so this is uh, the, uh, you know, visualizing just a tag uh, below 1.5. 1, 1 and I can also switch to solid color. So this is, these are the obstacles. And then I can visualize like the flow. This is the density and the surface around it so as you can see here the parts with with, with uh, like the obstacles they have density of uh, negative density and then uh, if i visualize it you can see if i press the animation you can see that the phase two starts to enter the domain and push back uh, the, the, the the floyd 2. So in this case, I can also do, I don't know, maybe a clip or threshold. Let's try, try threshold. So I say values above 1.0.1 uh, 0 .1 and below maybe, I don't know, one. Let's see how it, it is. Yeah, this it's something similar to this, but you know, this is uh, the, the domain that is uh, actually, as you can see, evolving. But uh, yeah, it, it, it doesn't matter really the, the way that we, you visualize it, it, it is, uh, it can be visualized in different ways. So another way can be also clip. I can clip the second phase that is being removed. So I say scalar and the densities that are above this. So this is the second phase. If I invert it, so the phase that is actually there and then being removed by, by the other one. So if I visualize them together, it becomes something like this. And the second one can be uh, visualized using solid color and another one just to make it easier to distinguish. So yeah, this is uh, the way that the visualization can be, can be done. So yeah, uh, that's it. You know, the purpose of the video was just to quickly show you how uh, flow uh, in porous media can be simulated using Palabos. And as I said, you can also do that using the, uh, the code, uh, the, the example code in Palabos itself. But thanks to this software now, it is uh, really easy to perform these simulations. And yeah, there are a couple of examples that you can also run yourself and try to play with the parameters and see the effect in action. So I hope you find this video useful. Make sure to download the software and try it yourself and have fun with it. See you in next videos. Bye.